In a number of trades, the figure 7.48 is featured when it comes to converting between cubic feet and US gallons. In this video, I'm going to explain a little bit about the meaning of this 7.48 number. No, it wasn't invented by people in white lab coats whose sole purpose is to make life miserable. There is a reasonable, rational, normal explanation for this figure 7.48. This is an infinite decimal number, so let's get going with the explanation. First thing first, what's a US gallon? I'm glad you asked that. Is there another kind? Yes, there is. Let me take you off the tripod and we'll show you a US gallon right around here. I have two containers here, about the same height, but one of them is a little chunkier, notably, say this one. This is an imperial gallon and this is a US gallon. This is the one that we have in this particular video. It doesn't say one US gallon on it. It says 7.38 liters, but just work with it because this one says 4.4 liters. Also doesn't say one imperial gallon, but this is a container, one imperial gallon. Forget about it. For now, we're focusing on this one US gallon. The US gallon needs to be related to a cubic foot. A cubic foot is an amount of space, volume. This plywood, OSB, whatever, cube here is exactly one cubic foot. We know this because it's one foot in depth, one foot in length, and one foot in width. It has a volume of one cubic foot. It can be made out of anything. Air, ice, wood, whatever. It can be a fish tank. If you want to make a fish tank that's on the inside of the glass is exactly one cubic foot, then you make sure that it's one foot in depth, width and length, and you're going to have a fish tank with exactly one cubic foot of space on the inside. When it comes to converting from US gallons to cubic foot, the number 7.48 is featured because the conversion means how many of these fit into one of these? The answer is 7.48 of these will fill a fish tank or of one cubic foot or the amount of space or volume of one cubic foot. Okay, so 7.48 of them, start pouring it into your fish tank. That's how many you are going to need to fill this space completely. Okay, up to the brim. So that's the meaning of this 7.48. How do we know this? Well, we, we know this from experience. You can do this with a fish tank. Or I have an alternative version of explanation that uses these. These are cubic inches. A cubic inch, just like a cubic foot, is a measure of space. It doesn't matter what a cubic inch is made of. Bronze, aluminum, steel, whatever. Stone, it doesn't matter. A cubic inch is a quantity of space that's one inch in depth, one inch in width, and one inch in length. One cubic foot of space. So it doesn't matter what color it is. Or it could be ice, it could be air, it could be anything. Air is kind of hard to grab at room temperature. So we know that 1728 of these cubic inches, that's one way to write cubic inches, fills a cubic foot. Now, 12 inches do make a foot, but 12 cubic inches are only going to get you about this far. It's not going to fill a cubic foot. You need 12 rows of 12 just to fill one side of this shape, so 12 times 12, that's 144 cubic inches. And then you also need to go 12 rows this way, so that's 12 times 12 times 12 cubic inches, 1,728 of these little guys to fill the big guy. Now, how many of these cubic inches make a US gallon? A US gallon is exactly, by definition, 231 cubic inches. Fairly straightforward. From this on, 1728 divided by 231, there's your 7.48 figure. So that's the meaning of it. Let me put you back on the tripod. And let's do a, let's do a quick recap here. The 
cubic foot is need to be converted to US gallons or the other way around. 7.48 is your conversion factor between volume of space and liquid capacity. They look alike, they sound alike, they are related to each other but they are different. So capacity is not the same as volume. A cubic foot is 1728 cubic inches and the US gallon is 231 cubic inches by definition. If you divide the bigger number by the smaller number, not the other way around, you are going to get this number 7.48 plus decimal digits, whatever on the calculator's display, which is typically just rounded or truncated to 7.48. So that's the meaning of this figure 7.48. That's not how to use it. Conversions are in a different video. And I also have a different story on how come we have two different gallons? An imperial gallon and a US gallon. So that's a different story for which I'm going to include a link in this video's description box below. There's going to be a link about US gallons versus imperial gallons and why we have two. But it's important that we have two, so it's important that you have the 231 number used for this conversion. Now, I don't know if for remembering this 7.48 it's easier to remember the story and these numbers or it's easier for you to remember the figure 7.48 whatever makes the most sense to you but that's the meaning behind this 7.48 figure thank you very much for watching